Over the past 53 years, Courtesy Chevrolet has become one of the most trusted dealerships in the Valley. And because they're family owned, principles and values are passed from generation to generation, becoming tradition. Tradition is what defines Courtesy Chevrolet. It emanates from the founders, through the managers, to the sales staff and service department, and ultimately to the customer. All great accomplishments start with a belief, followed by an action. When capable individuals develop the same belief, that's when it becomes an accomplishment. I started just like my brother, painting trash cans and pulling weeds, a lot of tenant uh, driving cars around in the summertime. Obviously everyone being real nice to me. I, I can never figure that out, but everyone is real nice to me. And I moved into a parts department, picking parts every summer. And after that went down to U of A. Went to college. Graduated from U of A with a finance degree. My brother was uh, graduating from college and he was going to go out on his own and do his own thing. And I talked to him and I said, no, you need to get in the family business. It's a lot of fun. We'll have a lot of fun together. And My brother Mark and I uh, teamed up together and we sold cars. And we sold cars and we sold cars. And uh, felt like we sold cars our whole career. I've been here for 13 years this month. Uh, 11 years. I've been with Courtesy Chevrolet for almost 15 years. I've been here for three years. I started here 42 years ago. There's a lot of people that's been here 10, 12, 15, 20, 30 years. And that's what I like about the place because they value their employees. Uh, we're more like family. It's one of the few family-owned businesses left in the, in the States. Well, what attracted me to join the dealership is uh, family feeling you get here. It's almost just like coming home every single day. Family-owned, so that makes it more personal. The attitude of the founder is crucial. That perspective will permeate down the chain to the rest of the employees and eventually to customers. Just working with my father, uh, I was just excited to, to be able to work with him. And Somebody, it was my father, decided, hey, it's time for you to get out of sales and into management. And uh, he's always wanted me in the business and it was just a perfect opportunity that uh, came about. A lot of the employees look up to uh, the Gruwells and uh, I think that uh, that has remained through all the time that I have been here from Mr. Gruwell as well as Scott and Mock. Carl Barker. As a mentor, that would be Carl Barker, which is the parts director. It starts with him and uh, the atmosphere he creates in the parts department uh, just emanates through the, all the employees. It's a lot simpler than a lot of people try and make it out to be. You just treat people the way you expect to, to be treated yourself. Ron Guy. He's a, he's, a, he's a manager in the back counter over there. He's, Why do you look up he, has, uh, he has knowledge that I seek. My office manager, Melinda Rodriguez, simply because I want her job. <laughs> I'm 67 years old, they better be looking up to me. <laughs> Dwight Eisenhower said that a sense of humor is part of the art of leadership, of getting along with people, of getting things done. It's funny, I mean, we have a lot of fun here. We have our company limo here. Usually on the weekends, either Jack or I will be the chauffeur and we drive the Gruwells around. Just put it this way, everybody has a very good sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And they allow you to dress up, and I've seen some people come in with some crazy costumes. Made a self out of a Chiquita banana. <laughs> I dressed up as a big banana a couple years ago for oh, Halloween. Chiquita yeah, that was, yeah, that. so. <laughs> Best part of my work is when I first get here, it's all me. I'm all by myself, I open up the place. So everybody comes in and I kind of like greet them when they get here. Nice. Helping somebody to get into one of their biggest purchases in life. So they're very interacting with the customers, having the one-on-ones with them. The thing I like most is the people. It's uh, lunch. <laughs> get the person what they want and you see them so excited. I mean, that's, that's fun, that's what it's all about. The philosophy behind the accomplishments is vital. It's what will drive those capable individuals, allowing that accomplishment to grow tenfold. And I learned this from my father is, no matter what, surround yourself by the best talent you possibly can, okay? And by, it, by doing that, having the best people around you, lo and behold, the whole thing rises and, and you become the best. Well, our biggest philosophy is family comes first. If there's a, if there's a function or something that an employee needs to do with their family, they need to go do it. Uh, it's just a, a great atmosphere to work in. So I actually started here at Courtesy as a uh, driver in parts. So I've just worked my way up. They actually believe in the people that actually work for them and they move up within instead of pull from the outside. Um, they call me the bulldog because of whenever something's, a task is given to me, I don't let go of it till it's done. Came here to buy a vehicle. Next yeah. thing you know, I was working here two weeks later. 
I've always been taught that uh, the customer is the reason why we're here and you got to build those relationships with those customers and they will always come back and take care of them. My short-term goal is to be number one in the Valley, number one in the Western region, and the top 20 in the nation. And you know what? And that's by the end of the year. Okay, this place has been here since 1955 when my grandfather built it. And it's always going to be here um, for forever. Don't worry about, about sugar coating. Or. It's normal spelling. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, a couple years ago I dressed up as a woman, okay? <laughs> <laughs>